What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I've partnered with a local company here in Cincinnati called BidFTA. You guys saw me do a video on their bins in person. If you haven't caught that video, I'll put a link to it right down here below. And in today's video, I'm gonna be featuring their online auctions. So BidFTA actually started here in Cincinnati years and years and years ago. And I bought a bunch of stuff at their very first auctions when they only had one warehouse. And now they have spots all over the country. They get liquidations, return goods, just honestly a little bit of everything. So we're gonna take a dive into it today so we can find. So here is their main website. At the top right, you'll see my account. You click on that and it'll show you, you can click on your watch list, the current bids that you have, payment information all that good stuff. When you click on auctions, it'll drop down and allow you to view all auctions. You can view uh, just equipment auctions, truckloads, previous auctions, a lot of different choices. Then when you click on locations, you can put in your zip code and it's gonna show you the locations nearest you. I like bidding on the school road auction because it's close to me. So I click on see all auctions and it brings uh, up a lot of different choices. These are all from the same location and there's a lot of auctions that they do every day. This specific location space them apart about an hour each and there's just a lot of different stuff that you can bid on. So I click on one of the specific auctions and it brings up each individual item in that auction. And as you can see here, it has conditions for each. Um, they range from as is to good condition to brand new. They will have the stock image, but then they also have an actual image of that item that they have in the warehouse. You can bid by pressing the bid button and it shows you which amount you're going to be bidding or you can put in a max bid of whatever amount you want to hit and then set that for your max bid and the software will automatically bid for you. I saw this lacrosse net and I think it's something my kids might like to play with. They don't necessarily play lacrosse, but it could just be something for them fun to kick a soccer ball into or something like that. So after looking at the photos, I go ahead and click add to my watch list. I'm gonna click on the eye at the top right of the website and it's gonna bring up my watch list. And you'll notice the first few items I already won. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on remove closed items and that is gonna take those out of my watch list. So I'm only looking at things that are currently up for sale. So we've got a drum set, we've got that lacrosse net, there's a couch, there's a baseball bat, PlayStation controller, and it's showing me which ones I'm winning and which ones I'm losing. All right, so I wound up winning two things on the auction. I got that lacrosse net the kids are going to play with, and I got this really cool Rothwell watch winder. You plug it in, and it, like, winds your watches so that the, you know, the batteries keep running and everything. After taxes, I only paid $35 for it, and the same exact one sold for $350 on eBay. So I am thrilled with that. Darcy and I are going to go pick up the stuff now. You going to push it or are you going to ride on it? I'll ride. All right. Ready to get our stuff? So here is the School Road warehouse that I've bought a handful of things from. As you can see, it's really big, looks kind of overwhelming, but luckily they have everything uh, organized by aisles and by rows, and they've got little tags above each one. So when you win your item, you open up the app, do the uh, pickup assistant, and it tells you where your items are. After you find your items, you just select both of them in the app, and then you're gonna do check out, and they're gonna scan that QR code, and you're gonna be all set. But if the has warehouses nationwide, so whether in Cincinnati or not, I highly recommend checking them out. I'm going to put a link down below in the description if you want to get on and bid. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.